Hey there, fellow gamers. Ever feel like you couldn't hit the broad side of a barn? Or maybe you're the king of hitting walls instead of enemies. Well, today's your lucky day because we're gonna fix that aim of yours. By the end of this video, you'll be landing headshots like a pro, or at least, like a decent player. So buckle up, grab some snacks, and let's get right into it. Alright, before we start hitting those perfect shots, we need to talk about the basics. I know, I know, basics can be boring, but hey, even the best chefs start with boiling water, right? And if you can't boil water, well, maybe stay out of the kitchen. So, let's talk about sensitivity settings. Yes, I said sensitivity, not feelings, no need to get emotional. This is where it all begins. If your sensitivity is too high, your aim will be all over the place, like a squirrel on caffeine. When it's too low, it's like trying to turn a bus in a narrow alley. We're looking for that sweet spot. The Goldilocks zone of aim. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. Here's a little secret. Start with a low sensitivity and gradually increase it. It's like dipping your toes in a cold pool before jumping in. Start small, and soon you'll be doing cannonballs. Now, let's talk about crosshair placement. This is the difference between hitting a headshot and hitting the floor. Spoiler alert, the floor won't fight back, but your enemies will. Imagine this, your crosshair is a laser pointer. Wherever you point it, your shots will follow. So, keep that crosshair at head level, always ready to drop a bomb or a bullet on your opponent's noggin. It's like having a superpower, except you don't need to wear tights. And hey, don't just aimlessly wave your crosshair around like you're swatting flies. Be precise. It's like threading a needle, except instead of sewing, you're, well, not sewing. You get the idea. Precision is key. Now, if you're expecting a magic trick to improve your aim overnight, I hate to break it to you, but this ain't Hogwarts. It's more like Bloodstrike Bootcamp. And in Bootcamp, we practice. A lot. But don't worry, practice doesn't have to be boring. Make it fun. Pretend those bots are all your exes. Or that annoying guy who keeps stealing your kills. Channel that energy and get those headshots. And speaking of practice, make sure you're practicing with a purpose. Don't just spray and pray. Focus on your weak spots. If you're bad at long range shots, spend time nailing those. If your close range combat is shaky, practice that. You wouldn't train for a marathon by eating donuts all day, right? Although, donuts are pretty awesome, maybe we should train with donuts. I digress. Alright, let's talk about weapons. Not every gun is created equal, my friends. Some are like your loyal dog, always there when you need them. Others, well, they're more like that one friend who always cancels plans last minute. So, find a weapon that suits your style. Are you a sniper? Then don't run around with a shotgun. Are you the in-your-face type? Grab that SMG and go wild. The key is knowing what your weapon can do and making the most of it. Like picking the right tool for the job, don't try to hammer a nail with a banana. When you're in the middle of a firefight, it's easy to panic. Your heart's racing, your palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti. But here's the thing, panic is your worst enemy. Not that guy shooting at you, it's your own brain. So, take a deep breath. Stay calm. Don't let the pressure get to you. Think of it like dancing. Stay in rhythm, keep your cool, and soon you'll be leading the dance. And by dancing, I mean shooting people, but you get the point. And if you do mess up, don't beat yourself up. Everyone misses a shot or two or ten. Just laugh it off and try again. Remember, it's all about having fun. If you're serious about improving your aim, why not try some aim training games? They're like a gym for your fingers. No dumbbells needed, just a mouse and a lot of determination. These games can help you with precision, speed, and accuracy. It's like leveling up in real life. And the best part? You can do it all while sitting on your couch in your pajamas. Win-win. 
This might sound cheesy, but hey, sometimes cheese is exactly what we need. Your mindset is crucial. If you keep telling yourself you're bad at aiming, guess what? You'll be bad at aiming. But if you believe you can improve, you're halfway there. Confidence is key. So walk into that match with your head held high. Even if you're shaking in your boots, fake it till you make it. Pretend you're the best player in the world. Who knows, maybe one day you will be. And there you have it. Remember, it's all about practice, patience, and maybe a little bit of pizza to keep you going. So go out there and start practicing. And if you miss a shot, just laugh it off. After all, it's just a game, no need to rage quit, unless your internet crashes. Then, by all means, go ahead and throw your mouse. But don't blame me if it breaks. Thanks for sticking around, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully with much better aim. Peace out.